let's talk about the fact that this is one of uh, the first half of this movie, at least, is makes it puts it into the club of a, a, a rare number of movies that are shot in very confined spaces, and I and that can go either very right or very wrong. Um, you know, you think about Lifeboat and a few of these movies where the, you just can't get out. Yeah. Do you want to actually stay there or is it just too claustrophobic? In this case, where did you shoot and logistically how did it work? So we shot in, in Toronto where so many movies are, are shot. We shot on a soundstage in Pinewood and we built the room the same dimensions as the novel. In fact, we experimented with a slightly bigger one and we just thought there's no, the story just dies. So it's 11 by 11, it's absolutely tiny and um, we didn't remove walls because we didn't want to break the illusion for Jake himself, really, that, that this was a real place. And also it would take too much time. So we, we worked within this tiny confined space. All we allowed ourselves to do was to remove panels from the wall so that we could put the lens through just to get the people and the lens and the back of the camera out. But the rule we made and we stuck to was that the camera, the lens, the eye of the camera is always within that 11 by 11 space. So it was pretty intense. To the extent that, where were you sometimes during scenes? I, I spent much time uh, in the bath because it was possible to lie flat in the bath and, and not be seen. So I would pop up at the end of takes to, 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 to you know, to give my instructions and coaching. You know, I, 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 oh, it was amazing. It was like, did anybody ever play Tetris? Remember that game where you had to fit things in? It was like that, but with crew. You know, everybody's elbows and you know, extraordinary.